In the middle of Java's beautiful rice fields, winds carry whispers of long ago fought battles of bravery and freedom. In the pages of history, there are stories of brave men and women who stood up against oppression, fighting for their freedom and the rights of their people. One such bravery is the Java Wars, an epic saga of the strength and struggles against Dutch colonial rule in Indonesia. It was a period when the Javanese people came united to fight against the oppression of colonial rule imposed on their homeland. The Java War is not a war of armies, but of the spirit. A war for freedom, independence, and the rise of nationalism. Let us travel back to the 19th century to witness a battle waged not with conventional weapons, but with a strong spirit. For centuries, Java had been under the yoke of colonial rule. Java was ruled by the Dutch East India Company and later the Dutch government for almost three centuries as part of the Dutch East Indies. The Dutch monopolized trade and used Java's resources, which brought economic wealth to the colonizers, but hardship to the native inhabitants. The phase of 1783 to 1830 was a struggle in Indonesia between the Dutch colonial administration and the Javanese kings from the Mataram dynasty of Yogyakarta. In the 19th century, the island of Java became the stage for a significant conflict known as the Diponegoro War. Prince Diponegoro, a Javanese nobleman, emerged as a central forward in this battle against Dutch colonial rule. Prince Diponegoro had ambitions for greater autonomy and influence over Javanese affairs. He sought to preserve Javanese culture and religion, but the Dutch colonial authorities did not fulfill his aspirations. This disappointment led him to lead a rebellion against Dutch rule in the Java War. With the support of the people, intellectuals and nobles, Prince Diponegoro led a new wave of nationalism that swept through Java. These intellectuals began spreading ideas of sovereignty and advocating for an end to colonial domination. They sought to awaken the spirit of independence and cultural revival among the people. Unrest, injustice and struggle paved the way for one of the greatest freedom battles in Asia. The Diponegoro War, commonly called the Java War, broke out in 1825 and lasted five years. However, the war witnessed its ugliest phase when the Dutch besieged Yogyakarta. Amidst Dutch rule, Java was a land dotted with powerful Javanese kingdoms. These kingdoms, such as Mataram, Surakarta and Yogyakarta, retained their cultural identity and played a crucial role in the fight for independence. The Dutch sieged Yogyakarta, the heart of Javanese culture and resistance, giving a turning episode in the history of the Java Wars. Despite overwhelming odds, the Javanese exhibited remarkable bravery as they bravely defended their country during the siege. Diponegoro employed guerrilla warfare tactics, using Java's rugged terrain, Javanese martial arts, and the support of local villagers. Despite early triumphs, the Javanese insurgents encountered difficulties maintaining technology against the well-equipped Dutch military strength. The Javanese rebels faced many challenges during the war. Fewer resources and logistical challenges hindered their ability to battle. Nevertheless, despite their challenges, the Javanese rebels won major battles and severely wounded the Dutch army in several clashes. After the Java Wars, the face of the nation transitioned. Many independence-seeking organizations began to emerge. The Sarakat Islam movement started in the early 1900s and was one of the most significant. Soon it grew to be a powerful nationalist group. The goal of Sarakat's Islam was to unite and mobilize the Javanese people in opposition to Dutch colonial rule. The Dutch colonial administration gradually lost control and Indonesia marked its independence in 1945. The aftermath of the Java Wars saw a rebuilding phase, where the newly independent nation worked towards establishing a stable government, rebuilding infrastructure, and healing the wounds of conflict. The struggles and sacrifices during the Java Wars laid the foundation for forming modern-day Indonesia and its ongoing journey as an independent, robust nation. The Java Wars, spanning different historical periods, gave rise to nationalism in Java. These struggles displayed the Javanese unshakable determination, bravery, and tenacity to protect their motherland. Have you enjoyed learning about the colorful history of Java War and the struggle for independence? What do you think about the brave struggle of the Javanese? Leave your answers in the comments below. But before that, 
Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.